Overnight shoppers clamoring in stores for Black Friday deals. Look at that right there. Wall Street ending one of the worst weeks of trading since the financial crisis in 2008. This Manhattan Beach, California home recently sold for Bitcoin. The confusion of money in any form whatsoever with wealth is one of the major problems from which civilization is suffering. When we first began to use symbols to represent the events of the physical world, we found this such an ingenious device that we became completely fascinated with it. And in ever so many different dimensions of life, we are living in a state of total confusion between symbol and reality. But our culture, our civilization, is entirely hung up on the notion that money has an independent reality of its own. We are thinking about vast abstractions, ideologies called communism, capitalism, all these systems, and paying less and less attention to the world of physical reality, to the world of earth and trees and waters, people. The idea of the material world, it is in its, uh, in its own way a symbol. That is to say, if you buy the word material, you mean some sort of basic stuff out of which the world is made. Physical world. This is a concept. This is simply an idea. And uh, if you want to ask me to differentiate between the physical and the spiritual, I will not put the spiritual in the same class as the abstract. But most people do. The poet says, the hills are shadows and they flow from form to form, and nothing stands. Because the physical world is diaphanous. It's like music. Uh, when you play music, it simply disappears. There's nothing left. And that, for that very reason, it is one of the highest and most spiritual of the arts because it is the most transient. And so, in a way, you might say that transiency is a mark of spirituality. A lot of people think the opposite, that the spiritual things are the everlasting things. But you see, the, only, uh, the, the more a thing tends to be permanent, the more it tends to be lifeless. The, the physical world, we can't even find any stuff out of which it's made. We can only recognize each other. We are recognized by the fact that one day you, you face the same way as you did the day before. And people recognize your facing. So they say that's John Doe or Mary Smith. But actually, the contents of your face, uh, whatever they may be, the water, the carbons, the chemicals, are changing all the time. And everything is like that. It's pattern. And this is why it's so spiritual. To be non-spiritual is not to see that, to identify with the body. The body is really very intangible. And uh, so, therefore, if you cling to the body, you will be frustrated. The material world, the world of nature, is marvelous. So long as you don't try to lean on it. So long as you don't cling to it. And if you don't cling to it, you can have a wonderful time. With it. If you try to possess people, then, of course, you are trying to cling to the physical world. So, one might say then that we are confused through and through about what we mean by the material world. In the first place, 
we confuse uh, abstract symbols, that is to say numbers and words and formulae, with physical events, as we confuse money with consumable wealth. In the second place, we confuse physical events with matter. But matter, you see, is an idea, it's a concept. It's the concept of stuff, of something solid and permanent that you can catch hold of. Now, you just can't catch hold of the physical world. The physical world is the uh, most evasive, elusive uh, process that there is. It will not be pinned down. And therefore, it fulfills all the requirements of spirit. So what I'm saying then is that the, 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 the non-abstract world is the spiritual world. But we're all hooked on the idea that there is, you see, an external objective world, which is a certain way. But people always have to feel that they've got to find a meaning. For example, you get sick and uh, you've lived a very good life and uh, you've been helpful to other people and done all sorts of nice things and you get cancer and you say to the part to the clergyman why did this have to happen to me and you're looking for an explanation and there isn't one it just happened that way but people feel if they can't find an explanation they feel very very insecure why because they haven't been able to straighten things out the world is not that way it is you, in other words, who evoke the world and you evoke the world in accordance with what kind of a you you are, what kind of an organism. One organism evokes one world, another organism evokes another world. And so everything, reality is, is, is a kind of relationship. So once one gets rid of the idea of the truth, as some way the world is in a fixed sense, say it is that way, see? Then you get to another idea of the truth altogether. The truth that cannot be pinned.